Hello everyone and welcome back to Maybelline's Makeup Loft. My name is Sarah Louise Brown and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I use three of Maybelline's brow products to achieve my perfect brow. Now I like these three different products for different reasons and I will go through that and I'll also give you a demonstration on how I use those products. So I'm going to be showing you how you can get a popping brow look with just three of Maybelline's brow products. Before we jump into today's video, make sure to subscribe to Maybelline's Makeup Loft channel and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. But without further ado, let's just get into it. So the first product I want to introduce to you is Maybelline's Tattoo Brow Brow Pomade. So this is a brow pomade which you can use with a brush. Um, I find this the easiest to apply. It's the easiest to mold and work with. The shade that I use is 01 Tall. Now, if you want strong brow game, this is your product. It is ideal for shaping and sculpting your brows. It glides on so smoothly, you get a waterproof finish and it does live up to its name because the color payoff just lasts so long. This product is a brow product to wear if you're going to the gym and you are sweating or in summer and you are sweating, this product just won't budge. How I like to use it, I like to dip a angled brush into the brow pomade and glide it along my brow. I like to define my brow by using hair-like brush strokes while also really defining the arch and the end of my brow. I always make sure to use a spoolie and brush the fronts of my brow to give it a natural look at the front while using the gliding brush with the tattoo brow product to sharpen the end. And it is such a dramatic difference, but this product is such a good product, especially for beginners with gliding on. And with this product, a little goes such a long way. So this product will last you such a long time. Moving on to the second product. And here we are, the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. The shade that I use is 255 Soft Brown. What makes this product so unique is the size of it. It is 1.5 millimeters. So it is perfect for defining your brows. I totally believe that you can have two separate brow looks by just using this one product. You can go for the A, natural brow, or B, sharp defined brow. For a natural brow, you'd be using this brush to mimic hair-like strokes. And for a game-changing strong brow, you can use this to define and fill out the entire brow. Some days when I'm not wearing makeup, I like to do the hair-like strokes, and other days when I'm doing full glam, I like to really shape out my brows. So how do I fill out my brows? I like to use this bully on the end of the brush to brush my hairs out first, and then I like to define it with the pencil and it's as easy as that. By having a brow product that can achieve two different styles in one is such a go-to for me. Especially for travel, you only need to chuck this thin little pencil in your case and you're off. The genius thing about this product as well is it has a no-break formula. So you, gone are the days where you're gonna be snapping your brow pencils while you're filling out your brows. And finally, introducing, I believe, is a game changer for all brow products. And you guys should know that I'm talking about the Maybelline Tattoo Brow Gel Tint. The shade I use is medium brown but I tend to fluctuate. It is a gel tint that you leave on your brows for 20 minutes and peel off and it can give you a color payoff for up to three days. It is enriched with aloe vera so your brows do get conditioned at the same time and the good thing about this product is over time it slowly fades so you're not going to be left with patchy looking brows once the gel starts to fade. So how I like to apply it? I like to apply it over my brows as if I was filling in my brows with this particular product. Once I've got the overall desired shape I then put another layer on so it is quite thick and then I leave it to dry for 20 minutes. For optimal color payoff, you can leave it on for two hours, but because I am quite fair skinned and the color I don't need as dark, 20 minutes does me really good. And don't get me wrong, 20 minutes still does last for the three day color payoff. Once the brow gel has been set on my eyes, I'm ready to peel it off and I start from the inner part of my brow and peel it out to the outer part. And that's as easy as it is. Your brows are not gonna budge, they're not gonna smudge, they're there forever girl. Well three days. So there we have it. We have three game-changing brow products for you to choose from. Each of them can be used for different desired brow effects and styles. However, what they all have in common is their long-lasting color payoff and the simplicity it has to just pop it on your brows. It has never been easier. Gone are the days where people are struggling to fill in their brows because these products are now on the market. So if I had to choose a favorite between these products, I couldn't. I love them all for different reasons and it's so versatile. That brings me to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and give this video a thumbs up if you found this useful with my tips and tricks on how I get my desired brow looks. And make sure to subscribe to Maybelline's Makeup Loft and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.